Titus, uh, which is next week. I think this thing does line out so nicely. It's just uh, following the scope approach. Uh, there, there were just uh, three automatic things, and so we were pre predestined to good works. Predestined. Okay, that's, that's that was a joke. Uh, but you, you'll see the objective statement that I gleaned from the passage, and it's. Every Christian should be ready to do good works because of truths found in our text. And so the truth of good works, the truth of his mercies, and the truth of his purposes. And all of that's just spelled out so beautifully there. And uh, so I'm just going to give you the lesson. I think you'll be able to work through it just fine. And again, I've, I've tried to flesh out uh, just Paul's teachings to Titus related to these things. So... Um, and again, the, the issue of good works has nothing to do with salvation. It has to do with our uh, service. And because of we are zealous for good works, as it says at the end of chapter 2, that uh, we are to uh, be conscious and do everything we can to advance the gospel uh, by doing good works. All right? And that... Uh, even what we talked about today, that there be nothing that we do to hurt or injure our testimony, especially among those that are without. And so uh, that's what we're going to emphasize, and I think you'll have uh, easy development of it. It's right there in the text. We'll have fun with it? You'll have fun with this one. Yeah. Last lesson in Titus. And then I'll go ahead and give you the September 1st for you to look over, and then we'll talk about that more next week. But... Again, if you have any questions after our discussion here a few minutes ago, don't hesitate to ask that. So we're wrapping up quick because i got to get wired up. <laughs>